Alicia Daniel Hall, realtor and attorney here in South Florida. And should you sell your home without a realtor? That is a question that I see a lot online and I hear a lot. And so, yeah, let's talk about it. First and foremost, 89% of home buyers use a real estate agent to assist them with navigating the process of locating and purchasing a home. And in general, the buyer's agent is paid by the seller. The commission gets paid by the seller. So if you are selling your home without an agent and you're paying a commission to the buyer's agent, you're actually paying for a service that you're not getting representation out of. That's number one. Number two, you've now placed yourself in a position where you're paying for the other side to be representative represented while you have no representative of your own. So there's that. Also, most people don't realize this, but um, for sale by owners tend to sell for less than the home would have sold for if it were listed by an agent. That's all. For sale by owners tend to sell for less than homes that are sold with the assistance of a real estate professional. Um, that's according to the National Association of Realtors. They do they do a lot of studies of all kinds of different things impacting real estate in the United States, and that is something that has been confirmed time and time again. So now let's talk about marketing. The key to getting your home sold for the most money in the least amount of time is marketing. And realtors have connections with other realtors. And we also have the ability to get your property in front of people through multiple different online avenues. So we post on the multiple listing service and all of those different property websites that everyone knows about, like the Zillows and the Redfins, they actually pull from the MLS. It's not the other way around. And so we are able to get eyeballs on your property much faster and more efficiently. And like I said, we also have contacts with other agents and those agents have clients. Those clients want to buy your home, but you're not going to get in touch with and get in the face of those agents because agents don't normally go and take a look at Zillow looking for properties. We don't go to Redfin. So if you are listing it on your own or you have a sign on the front of your house on your front lawn, guess what? You're missing out on potential buyers. Negotiating is a very important part of a real estate transaction. Um, in the beginning, obviously, you're going to be negotiating price. And if you are not a real estate professional, how are you pulling comparables? Do you know what a comparable is? Are you familiar with the market? Are you familiar with recent market trends? Are you able to take a look at one house and differentiate between that one and the house that you're currently working on selling? And that is something that a real estate professional is able to do because this is what we do. Another really important thing that you should consider before trying to sell your home on your own is safety. How are you vetting the strangers that are coming to your home? And I know that a lot of for sale by owners are not vetting. They're just opening the door and letting complete strangers in their home, which in this day and age is extremely scary. So I know how to change the oil on my car. My dad taught me, but would I ever actually do it myself? No, I pay people for it. I know how to prepare my taxes. I actually was certified by the IRS to um, prepare taxes in law school. I don't prepare my own taxes. I pay a professional. So the question isn't really, can you sell your home by yourself? The question is, should you sell your home by yourself? And I say no.